Hola from Casa del Gurg. We're out of here. I've got a flight at four o'clock this afternoon. It's Saturday today. We're going to Puglia, which is in the south of Italy, to do an event, and then I'm going straight to Estonia. And before I pack, because I hate packing for two trips at once, I'm gonna go get a coffee. So let's go. Better. Oh yeah. I was just looking in the Condonas magazine, and there was like a big spread on Tallinn, which is where we're going. We're going away with all of my friends, but I think um, we need to try and look at some stuff to do. Isn't it beautiful? So the struggle is real. This is like work stuff, so not even clothes. And these are my two spaces. And the next week I have three different airlines, two different destinations. One of them's formal and in quite a warm place. And the other one's super informal, but it's like really cold. So it's gonna be interesting. Taxi's here, so let's get out of here. Let's go guys. <sighs> And it's never going to be empty, yeah. it's just never going to be full because it's whiskey. A shout out to Yasser who just brought me in the car here. He was a legend. And now we're at the airport, so let's go. Is everyone excited for their holiday? No, no we're not. I'm <laughs> done traveling with you guys. I hate you. Take it. <laughs> 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 And the back squash between two people. Ed got us. I don't want to imagine seeing Alex. You've got Alex. You've got Ed. You've got uh, Rachel. It's me, class. This is one of my teachers. That's your class? Yeah. Are you pretending to like swear at her behind her back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like time. Like, stop! <laughs> I failed because I got an emergency exit, but my bag's at the back of the plane, so I'm not going anywhere. It's raining a lot. Just arrived after an hour transfer, but I think we're all hungry. With the safe, yeah. Yeah, please. What is that one? Melanzana. This is aubergine. Aubergine. These are pretty nice at night, don't they? I'm taking a quick video before Alex trashes it. Yeah. Oh, so that's day one, guys. We're in this awesome masseria. Um, gonna get a good night's sleep because it's still quite early. And uh, I'm ready to show you guys what we get up to in the next couple of days. So, night night, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. It's 7 a.m., and we're gonna see if we can find a gym. Yeah, that's the square in there, isn't it? <laughs> well, there, Alex, there's a bench, but there's no weight more than 9 kgs. So it's going to be fine for you. There's like a cave out here, just noticed. Check out how much cake there is here. Morning guys, so we've been to the gym, had breakfast. I've never seen so much cake at breakfast. Um, now this is cool, we're actually doing the opening ceremony of the event in pretty much like a traditional cave. Like I found a little cave this morning by the gym, but this is like a, a more legit cave with nice lights that you have to duck through. And this is where we're doing the opening tomorrow. Closing dinner. At the closing dinner, there is going to be... <laughs> this, is, this is where we're going to do tonight's parties. Listen to the rain, can you hear it? I, I, just, I just introduced you. Alex just uh, did a great job interviewing uh, Vittorio, who is the yeah. owner of uh, Masseria Cocaro, which is the hotel that we're in at the moment. The Masserias are kind of like family homes, aren't they? I yeah. guess. Um, or castles. Uh, and a lot of them, uh, to keep the heritage alive and to preserve the building, they turn them into hotels. So um, I think when I was here with Evangeline, I saw probably 20 different Masserias which have been turned into hotels. They're all very unique. Um, but it's amazing because it keeps the history alive and um, really small boutique hotels. We've found the music room. Ha <laughs> ha
Ferrozacca <laughs> We're eating really well aren't we yeah? The flossing championships <laughs> Medic <laughs> So nice. Got the fire pit. So this is going to be the opening ceremony for Connections. Michaela's doing a speech in her red trousers. Trendy. Today I put first hashtag. So we've got lots of different food stations. Where is that mozzarella? Which cheese is this? Ah, okay. It's got all of the charcuterie and the meat. And then here, some fresh pasta. Ah, okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna have a quarter of this. You know, Manjun. Can we go half some? Can we share one? A third. A third. Can have a bite, and okay. you can have the rest. Okay. So this is Rose, you might remember her from Switzerland when she stole a cupcake from her room. Hi, hi vlog. Morning guys. Slept well. Uh, we've got a full day ahead of us. We're presenting this morning. Um, so we've just been practicing. Um, but no, feeling good. And now I'm ready to get on with it. <laughs> it's a cave, it should sound louder than that. <laughs> Greg, uh, I'm the head of business development here at Connections and I'm really looking forward to getting to know you over the next couple of days. Um, so, we're going to start this briefing um, now, it's going to last around 40 minutes. Um, and in that time, what we're going to do is introduce our region partner, Julio Corzione. Um, our fantastic host hotel, dinner last night and today, uh, Masseria Torre Pocaro. Uh, we've got wine tasting from one of the most famous winemakers here in Puglia. But I might add, it's only available in the afternoon. <laughs> Some people are looking disappointed, which is worrying. But we do have coffee making, so we could do that, the artisan coffee experience. So we've finished the presentation now, it's time to try and do some experiences. Check out this courtyard, so nice. So actually a chapel here. And here we've got some pasta making. And we've got crochet making. Check out this little hideaway. So cool, just through the archway. Super chill. The dessert as far as the eye can see. Dessert. Dessert. A little bit on how the incentive market, uh, how you see the incentive market heading in the future. It's been a busy day. We're here at Masseria Ancella. Going through the wooden door of Ancella. Watch the step. They actually have like, these are called trulies. Look at the shape of them. They're like um, little like elf houses, <laughs> which are all over here, and they've turned these ones into bedrooms. It's really cool. I'll try and get some more. You know we call um, Andrew Top Cat. Why? 1961. What's the oldest one you've seen? <laughs> <laughs> I was nowhere near born. He's a from 64. It's a Chianti Reserva from 1965. This is vinegar. It's vinegar now. I don't know what year, but the bottle looks the same. We're going to go down into it's called a wine spa. And apparently they actually bathe in wine, so let's go and have a look. Well, when you say it, you have a glass for testing wine. In the water wine, you test the wine. It's a holy wine therapy. Total. It's a total wine therapy. So floss. Floss. Yeah. Is now a good time. Yeah, floss. Oh, please. Tomorrow's gonna be another day. Yeah, I feel what unfolds. Should be a good day. And there's a DJ in the evening, so we're gonna have some fun. Uh, so, buona notte and arrivederci. See you tomorrow. Sun's finally coming out. I know, what do you have to say? It's nice. Yeah, finally get some sun. By the pool in the sun. Not bad. Here we go. Russ has got his shades. It's looking good. The Masseria Don Luigi, this is where they do breakfast underneath the, um, the orange trees. Beautiful little space. Music experience now. 
think get it outside in the sunshine. So <laughs> just from a straw. <laughs> We've got those velos. I'm a bit concerned having Rose behind me because Rose is a bit, Rose is a bit dodgy with stuff like this. Ah! Through the tree. There's Ian. Got good vibes now for the last meeting. Is it, oh, this is, this is Rose's leaving present. Just finished partying. And um, Alex has a flight soon. Also, it was super fun, and um, I'm packed up and ready to go. Um, I feel so sorry for Alex and Rose, um, who were in the film just now. They literally went straight from the party to get on a plane uh, to go and do like another event that they're doing right now. While I was having a lot of sleep, I'm getting picked up to go in a second. Um, so I thought I'd give you. A quick rundown of Puglia as a destination. Puglia is like an up-and-coming destination. It's getting more and more popular. If you look at Italy, you see that it's got like the boot and the heel. It's right at the end of the hill, so it's far south. They identify themselves a little bit with the Mediterranean. Two airports which are easy to access. Bari, direct flights, and Brindisi, direct flights from London. Take about three hours max. It's got all of the hospitality that you'd expect from Italy. Lots of amazing food. Uh, although they do serve a lot of, of red meat and, and uh, antipasties that you'd expect from like, the north in Italy, you have a lot of fish. Like I've had some of the best fish I've ever had here. And also vegetables. Like when you cycle or walk around, you just see acres and acres and acres of them growing vegetables. So like the zucchini, for example, is super fresh, really nice. As a region, it actually produces more olive oil and wine than any other region in Italy, which I think is amazing. Um, if you consider how famous, for example, Tuscany is for making wine. And I've tried a lot of the wine here, and it's really, really good. Um, also, there's four UNESCO World Heritage Sites um, in Puglia. Um, so it's got a lot of culture, a lot of history, um, and a lot to see. It's famous for buildings such as Thruis, which are ancient buildings. And they look like little pixie caves. I think I filmed one earlier in this video. Also, um, the coastline's amazing. So it's got a really, it's got quite a rocky coastline, but there are sand beaches. Uh, but the water's crystal clear. Really, really nice. Olives everywhere, as you can imagine. Um, just down the road is a hotel where Justin Timberlake celebrated his wedding. Um, you've seen uh, three Masserias. Ancella, uh, Masseria Don Luigi, and you've seen Masseria Torre Coccaro. Um, so Coccaro is where I've been staying, um, and the other two are where we had functions. Um, but there's basically so much to offer. There's loads of masserias for all budgets. Like all the ones I've been in are five star ones. But the thing with this region is five star doesn't necessarily mean um, you know big grand luxury hotels. It's quite the contrary. It's like it's amazing service, um, but it's authentic, and I think that's what makes Puglia quite a special destination. Um, so look, guys, in a nutshell, that's it. Eat like a king. You'll have amazing weather year round. Like right now, it's late November, and you know there's blue sky up there. Um, so, good times. Yeah. What a life that would be. Mm. What a life. What a life. Anna the Quaker. Quaker. <laughs> I'm going to photoshop you on the front of a box of cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Is Quaker a cereal? Quaker's yeah. out. Quaker oats. Yeah.
Mm, Orange. Oh my god, like the sanitarium people with the hair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what you look like. That's what you look like. A pilgrim. Yeah. That's what they are. It's a pilgrim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A pilgrim, yeah, you're a pilgrim. <laughs> Brilliant. Bye, Puglia. Bye. 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 We got kicked out of the bus because one of our clients needed a lift, so I got out, which meant I got another hour in the other uh, masseria chilling with everyone, having a coffee. Um, now I'm here, panini, coke, because I had a few drinks last night. And I've got two flights, so I'm going now to Milan, and then I've got two hours in Milan uh, where I'm going to try and do some of this edit, and then I'm going to Heathrow. I'm getting an Uber to the office, I'm going to repack, and then I'm going to step up to Andy's. Start playing there. So, hope we can get out of here soon. Pretty tired now. It's been a long journey. Uh, looking forward to getting home. Well, to the office, it's one of my bags. Just got back, and it feels like Christmas has started. Four degrees here. Um, but now going to Estonia, which currently is like minus one, minus two. So I'm going to go back to the office now, got my Uber booked, repack, and then uh, let's go again. Made it, I'm in the office. I've got a pack where I've just like repacked this from this. And um, now I'm going to get the train, get some food, sleep for six hours, and then I'm heading home. Thanks guys for joining me in Puglia, and I'll catch up with you soon.